Yo, 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 what is up everybody? My name is White Fire, and today we are here with episode number 22 of White's Wondrous Minecraft World. In this episode, we're going to do a couple of things. First off, if I can find a crafting table, um, I want to make some backup armor. Something we really don't have. And we have plenty of diamonds to uh, make it, so... Leaves us with 32 diamonds. Um, I got some pickaxe in here and some a whole stack of iron blocks in my ender chest. As you see, I have 85 levels. Um, I had like 150 because I AFK'd yesterday at the gold farm. But I spent a lot of it on repairing tools, re repairing the armor I already have. These two still need to be repaired. Added more chests. Got more books here. Here, here, and uh, yeah, so let's get into this. Let's see, do I need lapis? I do. I need more books as well. Alright, projectile protection, eh. I'm breaking three, not bad. I'm breaking three, not bad. I'm breaking three. Huh. I'll go with the pants. Protection three, not bad. It's good for backup armor. Alright, let's see. Protection 3. Eh. I'm breaking 3. Eh. Fire protection, that sucks. Hmm. Protection 3. I might go with protection 3 and then add a protection book to this. Yeah, I'll go with that. Ooh, thorns. I like that. I'm breaking 3. And Death Strider. I'll take that. Extra pair of boots. Death Strider 3 Protection 4. I can add on breaking to that. Which I will do. And then for the helmet. Respiration 3 Protection 4. It's pretty darn good. Uh, let's see. I got Feather Falling. Ooh. Grab one of those. Uh, let's see. What else do I have? Breaking. I'll use those two books. <clears throat> Alright. So. This. Ooh. Yeah, those of I'm breaking. Add feather fall. Oh, okay, so which one costs more? All right, th that costs less. Nice pair of backup boots, and then the helmet. All right, so let's go back. Yeah, nighttime. Not fun. Not fun at all. Let's go back here. Let's craft ourselves an armor stand. All right, let's get us some sticks. Now we need. I think you can only use stone slabs. Do I have any? I guess not. Um, zombie up there somewhere. Oh well. <laughs> Alright, what's in here? Alright, crafted some slabs. Sweet. Now I think armor stand. I think I just crafted one of these on the MCDR server. I think it's like that. Yeah. We have one over there, but I kind of want to keep that one. That's like a first armor so let's keep that put this one right here uh, all right add these two add these two as well and there we go so we got ourselves an extra pair of armor because i plan on fighting the ender dragon at some point don't know when but uh at some point leave a comment down below guys if you guys want me to uh do it sooner or later if you guys want to see more stuff around here first, or if you want me to, uh, find an end portal. Oh my gosh, there's an enderman. Let's go kill him. Let's go kill him on camera. Alright, let's do this. Let's do this, guys. We got this. Ready? Uh. Uh. Ooh. Three ender pearls. I will take that. Add it to my collection of different stuffs we can get some more blaze rods take that get some blaze powder bang three eyes of ender this will be perfect for fighting for finding a uh end portal and whatnot what's my ender portal I have 16 eyes of ender. That's plenty for the actual um, end portal itself. I think the end portal itself can at max hold 12. 
but I need a few to actually find it, or if I, or it, I could just use admit amidst amidst yeah, something like that. It's what I use to find the Mesa. Well, have I shown you guys the Mesa? I don't think I have. I'll show it to you guys later. But uh, anyways, I use that to find the Mesa, to find the jungle, all that because you know I'm a cheater. It's not really cheating, but it's just easier for me to have to go walk. All the way around, because the closest mesa was like 5,000 blocks away. And the closest jungle was like, same, like 5,000 blocks away. We're taking forever to find, so. So yeah, uh, we got that out of the way, which is Wow, that scared me. Oh my goodness. You are up there. You gonna creep on me? Let's make some more torches real quick. I went caving, found a bunch of more stuff. I haven't spent too much time on this world. I've been spending more time on my on the SMP world. Whenever time I get. Um, put that there. So I found a little bit more iron. It's probably being smelted up right now. Which I still have to do the lighting for the farm. I still have to do a doorway for this. It's still going. It is still going. Got a whole bunch of smooth stone. Look at all that iron. It's got more in there as well. All right. Yeah, so I got a bunch of lighting and stuff to do here. A lot of off-camera work. Um, I want to expand the slime farm some more before we actually make it into a farm. Just because I think there's... I've only removed enough... Oh, my goodness. I've only removed enough space for one. I've only removed one chunk so far. And there's like three chunks down there. So I want to get all three chunks dug out before... I even begin making it. Eh, both sucks. Um, so yeah, guys. Uh, the rest of the episode, not really sure exactly what I want to do. Um, I might go up there. Let me show you guys. I don't know if I've shown you guys. I have the second area chest done, pretty much. Um, so up here. I want to make that more of a potion brewing area kind of place. We can store all of our potion stuff. I don't know. That sounds just sounds like a good idea. So I thought about doing that. And yeah, because like the world itself, I haven't done much progress on. I mean, it's only been, what, three days? Uh, we, should, we, should, we should probably put some kind of nether wart farm up there as well. I don't really know. Um, we'll see. So yeah, I will uh, see you guys in the next clip, whatever that will be. Alright guys, so I've decided not to do the potion stuff today. Part of it's because I want to come up with a design for that first. And part of it is because, well, I'm just lazy. <sighs> so instead, we're going to... We're going to make ourselves a different kind of food source. Now, I laid out this path a while back now, whenever I made this farm area, which I still have not done the collection system yet. I should do that at some point. Um, but right here, I made a path over to here, and I have an idea of what I want to put right here. I want to put a chicken cooker right here. That way... If we ever run out of beef over there, or if I just get lazy and don't want to uh, cook beef or slay cows, then we'll have this little thing over here that should be producing chicken. It may cause a little bit of lag, but I'm not too worried about that. So, let's get into it. Oh, and the design for this is by, I believe it's Green Guitar Guy. Um, and he got it from... from uh, Izuma, so I'll put Green Guitar Guy's uh, video on the farm that he made, the chicken cooker thing that he made, down in the description below. And uh, yeah, so let's get started on this. So I think there goes a chest here, two hoppers, and get our building blocks, build it out. So it's going to be a six by three. So there's the three. I think we leave this open. Yeah. So, hmm. I think we put a repeater right 
there. Yeah. Next comes a dispenser on top of here, as well as a half slab here. Um, two dispensers on either side, I believe, as well. No. Take that up. They're burning all over the place today. Uh, yeah, I'll go like that. Um, there's a couple of things I forgot to bring over, but I'll go get that after I get the main part done. Um, so yeah, so then behind this, we're going to put comparator with a repeater here and redstone dust coming around like that. And more redstone dust coming this way with a repeater, I think here. Yeah, that looks right. I think it's gonna be a block here, here. Yeah, and it's gonna be on subtract mode. But block here and here. Now we can put a half slab on top of that hopper. Um, let's see. I think I've gotten all of that done. Yeah, so let's build up here. Top of this is going to be the hoppers. So face into that, face into that, face into that hopper. And all around that is blocks, I believe. And on top of that is another row of blocks as well. Hmm. Let's see. Um, and I think on it, there's another row of blocks on top of that. Take that off. Looks right. Yeah. I'm going to go with that and see if it works. Um... So the row of blocks here. We're just gonna cover this over now. Um, now a couple things I still need to get. Let's see. Help down here. You guys can come over with me. I mean, why make a cut? So the things I still need. I still need eggs and glass, and we can cover the carpet over when we get back. And I need signs. I need that as well. So, if we head up here, I should have all that already made. Well, the eggs you can't really make, but I should have some eggs. I think I checked earlier. Yes, I have some eggs. Hopefully that's enough. We'll see. Um, What else was there? I just said it. I always forget it. Oh, signs. Do we have signs? We do have signs. Should be enough as well. Um, and glass. That was the last one. I'll just get some regular old glass. Don't need anything too special. So let's head back over to our chicken cooker. Our soon-to-be chicken cooker. And, uh, get that all filled in. So this, this design will not only cook the chickens, but it will also kill the chickens to the point where you get the raw chicken for trading with villagers. And you can switch it to egg mode so that you get eggs from it instead of just the chicken. So I'll figure out what those go in a minute. Um, all right, the glass goes in front of here. I know that. Can I open that? I can. Sweet. All right, so the oh crap, awesome. So the glass, this glass will go right there. So we can add our polished andesite back here. We get any chickens? Yes, we got one. All right, we got two, two for two, and we're probably not gonna get any more. All right, we got three. We got four. I will take that. I think that's it for the actual design. It's quick and easy. Um, 
let's see. If we put a button... What is it? Here? No. Hmm. I believe I did this wrong. Let me go, uh... Let me go back and see... Let me go back to the tutorial and see what I did wrong. I'll be back with you guys in just a sec. Well, guys, I figured out my problem. Uh, these dispensers on the sides did not... Uh, they were one block too far... Crap. Just realized I forgot something. Uh, stone slab... Last. There we go. Now it is officially done. So this button, you can press it for cooked. This one for raw. Press it off for none. Um, down here, you can set it for eggs or chicken. Up is eggs, down for chicken. Uh, so I decided to set it up for eggs so we can get more eggs in there. So we can get more chicken and whatnot. Um, sadly, this design does not have an on-off switch. Um, you could probably add it in here somewhere. But basically, the basically the off switch is on eggs. Because, you know, it's not really doing much then. It just, whenever the chickens grow up, they will lay their eggs, go through this hopper. It will uh, not dispense there. It will just should just go right into this chest right here hopefully um and i also had to kill one chicken because i forgot to put the carpet on there and it was standing in my way so i just killed it we, we still have three in there though it's not a huge deal but um yeah i just want to let you guys know that i had to do that anyways guys uh i think i'll call it an episode we didn't get too much done um but hopefully next episode i'll get that uh, I'll get a design. I either we'll do the overworld part of our nether hub or nether portal or we will uh, do the the up uh, wh whatever the thing's called the brewing the potions potion place up there in the storage. Uh, hopefully next time that's what we'll do. So this is it for me guys. If you did enjoy don't forget to smash that like button. Can we aim for Three likes, I think. I think we can, we can hit three, three likes this episode. Um, I actually kind of like doing these like goals. Number one, you guys always smash through it. And number two, uh, sets, sets a goal for us as a community of where we, we want to be at. Hopefully, in, in episodes to come, we'll uh, move it up to four likes, five likes, six likes, and that's whatnot. But right now, I think three is about all we'll probably get. Or at least I'll get. So uh, thank you guys once again. If you did enjoy the episode, don't forget to smash that, smash that like button. Leave a comment. And also, if you guys don't like the episode, don't don't be afraid to dislike the video and just say, hey. And But don't dislike it and just dislike it. Dislike it and say, hey, I didn't like the episode. Here's why. Here's what I think you can do to improve that will make me punch that like button. That's the kind of feedback I like. And also the feedback, the good kind of feedback that says, hey, I like this, I like that. But also, it's it's usually nice to have uh, someone out there that says, Hey, I don't like what you're doing here, this part of the episode, or I didn't like this episode because blah. That always actually uh, helps me. It doesn't demoralize me, believe me. It doesn't. It motivates me even, even more to prove to you guys that I can do a pretty darn good job with these episodes. Anyways, and also don't forget to subscribe if you are new to the channel. All that good, good stuff. So yeah guys, I've been rambling way too long, it's time to end it, this is Whitefire, peace out.